I'm gonna drink my lemon water and then I'm probably gonna make a smoothie because smoothies in the summer just sound good. So today I've just got some chores to do. I have to film a reel. I am filming this for you guys. I have some errands to run. I'm gonna go for a walk, but I'll show you what we've been up to out on the homestead. So pretty out. This is my absolute most favorite time of day. I love first thing in the morning. I'm a morning person. Alright, so here is my smoothie and the recipe is by Anthony William and it's his metal detox smoothie and I have been doing that every morning for the last month and we love it. We all have that smoothie and this is the book that it's from and it's also free on his website so I'll try to link the recipe for you guys but this is his book cleanse to heal and you guys have been telling me about anthony william forever so i'm glad i finally checked it out i am loving the book he says a lot of really powerful things as far as health and healing and yeah so we're starting to implement some of his protocol which is basically just like tons of you know fresh fruit and vegetables um low fat which is great but this tastes really good at first i was a little concerned about like the cilantro and the and i love cilantro but not in a smoothie and the dulse flakes that one i was like oh, man but it is really good especially with the orange juice in there so this smoothie actually keeps me full for several hours so but if I get hungry, I'll probably have some more melon or fruit. It's been so hot here. It's been like mid 90s, which is really hot for here, but it just feels really nice to eat a bunch of fresh fruit and vegetables. So I am gonna film a reel for Instagram. I really love filming these reels. They're really fun um, If you go to my Instagram, you can see I try to put up at least one reel a week Usually one wheel a reel a week. This one is gonna be for sloppy lentil joes with crispy onions They're so easy and they're so delicious. So I'm gonna do that first I need to brush my teeth and Do my hair and probably put on a little makeup but I'm gonna show you guys my pantry real quick before I go and do that because we redid the pantry and it looks really cute. And these are the new lights in the kitchen, which I'm really loving, especially for summertime. I'll show you guys. Okay, so here's walking into the pantry. This is, you know, you guys have seen this plenty. And then over on this side, I have my washer and dryer stacked. And then I used to have like a little desk here where I would work and edit my photos, but I moved into our actual office. So then we went ahead and made these shelves and we got this piping on Amazon and got it all put together. And it looks so cute. We 
we just got some boards from the lumber yard and I took a hammer and kind of just dented them, distressed them a little bit, not a whole lot. And then just stained them and we put them up and I put all of my stuff that's been shoved on that side and underneath that's always falling out. I put it all here because this is all of the stuff I use for staging for all of my food photography and cookbooks and all of that. So I needed better organization. Nacho, do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? <laughs> hey, sometimes I think you're deaf. Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah, let's go for a walk. Let's go. So this is one of our most favorite walks it's alongside the river. It's really, really pretty. We love coming here with the kids in the evenings and they love to hang out by the river. Same old roots, but I can bend. Turning to understand and sway together. And makeup is done the outfit is on now I gotta film this reel I may have gone a little heavy on the lip liner but I was in 90s teen and I just can't quit the lip liner all right guys I'm gonna show you I have this light ring that's adjustable in height um, I'm not gonna use the light because it's bright out right now but I will film from this perspective and then I'll also use this little guy to film on the countertop. So I just like film my reels from a couple different perspectives. I always use the music in Instagram. They have a ton to choose from. And usually my husband helps me out with a few shots as well, but he is in town right now. So I'm gonna have to work this one out all on my own. Oh, and you guys ask me a lot what camera I use. I just still use my iPhone. My iPhone. I, here, I'll show you guys. See, just my iPhone. Um, I do have a really nice Sony Alpha, but I don't really know how to use it for much more than taking pictures. So sometimes we use that, but most of the time I just use my phone and it's the 12 Max Pro. I keep looking over here thinking my camera's over here. She's right there. But yeah, just use my phone. And if you're wondering where all of our scraps goes, it goes <laughs> into this hideous bucket of compost and we get food all around it. But every day we just go empty this bucket out in the compost pile. So for these easy hash browns, all I'm gonna do is take this bag of organic hash browns. I like this brand because they don't have any other added ingredients. It is just organic potatoes. All right, so I'm just gonna add them to this bowl and then we're just gonna add a few seasonings and a little tapioca flour or arrowroot flour to help it stick together. Now, if you guys have made my tater tot recipe, then this is exactly how I do it. I add a little tapioca flour before I steam these to help them stick together to form the patties. 
And as always, I will link the recipes in the description box below. So after you add your tapioca flour, you wanna add a little garlic powder and a little onion powder, and then you wanna give that a stir. Now I don't add salt until the very end after they've cooked because I find that if I add salt to this, it tends to get too salty once it's cooked. So I'm gonna take this nice big pot and I'm gonna fill it with just a little bit of water and then I have one of these metal steaming baskets that you can pick up really like at Target, Walmart, they're pretty much sold everywhere. So I'm just gonna set that in there. And then I'm just gonna add the hash browns and I am gonna steam these for about three to five minutes just to help the tapioca flour really make these nice and sticky. All right, so now that the hash browns are done cooking, I'm gonna let them sit there and cool off until they are cool enough to handle. And then I'm gonna line the tray of my air fryer with a little parchment paper. If you don't have an air fryer, you can totally do this in your oven as well. You just wanna line whatever baking sheet or air fryer basket that you're using with parchment so that these don't stick. So then I'm just gonna take the hash browns and make these little piles. And then I'm gonna take a little water and wet my fingers so that the potatoes don't stick because the tapioca flour does make them really sticky, which is what you want so that they'll hold their shape. And then you just form these little patties. So I'm just gonna pop these in my air fryer and I'm gonna bake them at 425 for about 25 minutes. And I know that says 450, but I will change it. So while those cook, I'm gonna to put together my salad and my husband and kids will eat the same way. They love these patties and they love this salad. So I'm just gonna take some of these mixed greens and add them to my bowl here. Then I'm gonna take a cucumber and just slice it lengthwise and then make these nice thin slices. Then I'm gonna take some raw asparagus and chop that up and put it into my salad. And I read that this is really good for you in that Cleanse to Heal book by Anthony Williams. So I have now been adding raw asparagus to my salads. Then a little diced tomato. And then I have some diced red onion left over in the fridge. So I'm gonna add some of that. Now for a dressing, I'm just gonna use the juice of an orange. This is really good. I've been doing this for years. I love it. But first I'm gonna segment half of this orange and just cut the little pieces out because I really love having little orange segments in my salad. And then I squeeze the orange juice over it and I'll probably use both halves. And then last but not least, I'm gonna add just a little bit of avocado because it sounds so good. <sighs> it is hot. So we are going to head down to the orchard. We have some wild mulberry trees down by the orchard that the mulberries are now like ripening. So we're just trying to beat the birds. Of course the birds get more than we can get to, but we're gonna pull down some mulberries and we'll show you guys that. And then I'm gonna show you um, how the baby trees in the orchard are doing and the fruit we have growing on them. And then I'll show you guys what we're doing with the garden. It is hot, oh my goodness. Have to keep Nacho on a leash when we come down to this end of the property because you know if there's deer or turkeys and he'll just take off running after them and there are bobcats and mountain lions and other things that would eat him <laughs> so we have to be very careful with him and we have to take our trash bags down in this wheelbarrow our trash cans are like a half a mile away from our house i'm not even exaggerating but <laughs> it gives us exercise See all the mulberries drop onto the ground so you can get a tarp and put it under the tree and shake the tree, which is probably something we should do soon. Yay! Look! 
look how gorgeous is this tree. She is so big and beautiful. Yes, lots of mulberries. We should make some mulberry jam. Just the side of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference, oh, you make me strong Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Ordering a cup of love Feel it rising up and above. You will always. No, no eat the ones out of jar. Sorry. <laughs> you can't stand there and eat them. Gotta help pick them first. I could just spend my whole life doing stuff like this and be completely happy. Nacho, are you eating the mulberries on the ground? <laughs> yes. He's eating all the ripe ones that are on the ground. All right, so we maintain a deer fence around close to the house of the property just because the deer come through in herds and they will just decimate the garden, they'll decimate the orchard. So yeah, we have to deal with and maintain our deer fence, but that's okay. All right, so I am gonna show you guys. I'm like sweating pretty bad. It's so hot out. Our apple trees, we have a couple different varieties. So on here, this one is our honey crisp apple tree and she's doing pretty good. She's about six years old. Look at, I'm so excited. We love honey crisp. And this is one of our younger Fuji apples and she's got lots of little apples on her so that's exciting. Love these little clusters of apples. But we've got, let's see, we have Golden Delicious, we have Macintosh, we have a Sweet 16, the Honey Crisp, the Fuji, we have a Braeburn. I can't remember the other ones we have. And this is my baby Bartlett pear tree and look how cute these little Bartlett pears are, oh, I am so excited about this. So, so cute. We are going to enjoy that. Yeah, and the plums are so fun. These are deep purple, almost black plums, and they just grow in clusters like this. And they'll be ready end of August, beginning of September. They just, they just grow in these cute little clusters. What did you find? you find a prune? Yeah. <laughs> One that dried up? It's pretty purple. Let's see. This one's. Yeah, they'll turn this deep. Purple. Purple. And this one is like when it's like really ripe, but it turns yeah, into this a, one's prune. a prune. Yeah, this a prune. Oh, it's starting to sprinkle. That's nice. It's gonna be. Where'd you go? You were swinging on your rope. You wanna show us? <laughs> the monkey. Yay! It's raining. Woo! All right, we're gonna cut a melon to help us cool off. We're gonna make some little melon bowls. So I'll show you guys how to do that. The pie, pretty little thing. You're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Just the side of you when I'm at my weakest point. Makes a world of difference, oh, you make me strong. All right, we have our watermelon bowl. I don't know what that is, like a yellow melon and I a honeydew. Like... So, hey, but this is a really, this is a really fun way for kids to eat their melon and for you to eat your melon and you didn't get another bowl dirty. Feel it rising up and above. You will always keep my All right, so this is the new garden area because the last garden area just was not working out with all of the weeds. So we have a new, there goes my dog chasing harmless birds. <laughs> it's your entertainment. So we have laid down a bunch of weed barrier because it is just unmanageable. We cannot garden in the amount we want to garden and 
deal with the weeds. So we are doing raised garden beds. My husband is building these and I've been staining them. And we have a lot of dirt around the property and there's a whole method to how we're gonna fill these and everything. But then we're gonna put like pea gravel down and I'll show you guys like as we get things done in future vlogs what it looks like. But we're gonna put in the berry patch over there. And then this back here is gonna be the pumpkin patch. So Nacho, get out of the compost pile. No, come on. Nacho keeps going to my compost pile, which will be in a nice designated container. My children think it's hilarious to just throw their melons around. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna change my shorts and then help my husband with the boxes. I'm gonna keep staining them and the storm that I was hoping would come over us is going that way. So hopefully we'll get some cloud coverage because it is so hot out. Plant your seeds and watch them grow. The light will always know where to go. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. This buffalo cauliflower salad could not be easier and it is so tasty. So all I'm gonna do is take a head of cauliflower and I'm gonna chop it up into bite-sized pieces, even a little bit smaller, cause I like the pieces to get nice and coated and crispy. So once you've added all the cauliflower to a bowl, you're just going to take whatever hot sauce that you like. Obviously this is not the best one out on the market, but I cannot find a better one. And this is all I had at my little local market. So that is what we're using. I do want to try and come up with my own recipe for wing sauce so I can find something that's a little bit cleaner, but use what you like and just watch the fat content. This is the lowest in fat that I could find at my local market. So all I'm doing is adding enough to coat the cauliflower and then I'm going to be adding these gluten-free breadcrumbs and that is it. And I found these breadcrumbs at Kroger. It's just the Kroger brand and they were actually the cleanest. A lot of the other ones had all sorts of other ingredients. So I picked these ones up. So once you've coated the cauliflower wings, then you just want to dump them out onto a parchment lined baking sheet or the, you know, the air fryer basket of your air fryer. I always like to add parchment paper because I don't like to clean up the mess when I don't like having things burning and sticking to the basket. So you do what makes you happy. You do want to make sure and spread these out well so that they all get nice and crispy. So now I'm going to pop these in the air fryer and air fry them at 425 for about 25 minutes. So while those cook, I'm just going to get the salad base put together. During the summer, we eat a lot of salad. It's just so hot that we love eating more fresh, raw foods. And after reading the Cleanse to Heal book, I'm definitely even more inspired to eat lots of greens. So I just added some spring greens and now I'm going to add a little cucumber. A little red onion and then some diced tomato. May you always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing. And then I top it with my ranch dressing recipe and I will link that for you guys below. It is one of my most popular recipes. Just the side of you when I'm at all right guys there it is it is so so tasty and i will link the recipe for this and the ranch recipe in the description box below you enjoying your salad it's good Thank it's you. really good huh nachos looking for a bite <laughs> more so good mm. All right, so I'm gonna have some dessert. I'm gonna have some medjool dates tonight instead of my usual fresh, well, I'll probably still have some fruit <laughs> too, but I've been really loving having medjool dates. And I buy this container at Costco the once a month we make the trek down there. It is the best deal by far and they're organic, which is great. So if you've never had a medjool date, they are so good. They taste like caramel. And I can eat about 
four. Four is my max because then it's just too sweet for me. But three, about three is like my happy space. So I'm gonna eat a couple of these and I'm gonna hang out in the hammock and do some reading. I thought of you, hoping that the ripples would make you notice me. the ripples 